We're in the library, so we're going to keep our voice down. Thanks a lot, Meg, for that great story. And we do want to tell you that the Cowichan Valley Radio Society will be holding a Valentine's Day marathon to help raise money for a new station. So if you'd like to find out more about how you can help, then just go to the website, cicv.ca. There are over 30 branches in the Vancouver Island Regional Library System, and we're going to be telling you about how you can enjoy and explore your library throughout this winter with Narielle Davis, who is back with us. You are primarily working with children and youth, Narielle. What do you enjoy about that? I love working with kids and with youth as well. Um, they have a lot of energy and they're, they're constantly learning about new things. So they're a lot of fun to work with. Mm. I love showing them how to find new things, how to discover information and how to use it to benefit them as well. I bet you've helped uh, some of them succeed in tests and exams and writing papers for school probably. We do get a lot of last minute questions about <laughs> papers and some kids who plan ahead and have the imp asking for the information a little early on as well, which is great too. Yeah, so what's coming up this winter? I've already noticed genealogy tweaking the database on February 15th at the downtown Duncan branch here. Yes, that's coming up. We bring, I believe we have someone coming in for that one. It's really focusing more on doing genealogy. This one, tweaking the database, I imagine will be focusing on how to use databases to benefit you and do your research. So that's February 15th at 3 o'clock. Always popular, the genealogy bug has kind of... Uh, um, gotten hold of a lot of different people. And what else is going on? You've got two full weeks of jam-packed activities. We have a lot of fun stuff at the library. I know we have our great documentary nights happening at the end of the month on the 24th. This month we'll be looking at Chasing Ice. And I believe that one is about something to do with the ice flows or the um, ice fields up north. But you'll have to come and find out for yourself. <laughs> yeah, documentary night's popular. There's also beginner Spanish. Mm -hmm. We have some Spanish classes that take place. I believe Tuesday we'll, have, we'll be having our Spanish classes. And we also have a great event on February 14th, part of our Hands-On at the Library series. This month we'll be making cedar roses. We're having someone come in and teach us how to do that. So nice. that will be pretty fun. That's pretty unique. And all these hands-on workshops, do you take home what you make? You do. So you get that. to have, make something fun that you get to take home with you. Yeah, that's really a nice idea. And the Scarf Project is getting a lot of mention. What is it exactly? The Scarf Project, I believe it's Intercultural Society that puts it on. They come into the library. They have a lot of people from all sorts of cultures come, can come in and just knit together and create together. So you get to know people from your community from all over the area and create something together. And, and because it's intercultural, uh, that's one of, the, one of the ways that everybody will learn about each other's culture. There you go. In an old-fashioned quilting circle, that's what it reminds me of. <laughs> we also have a number of various um, support groups that meet here at the library in downtown Duncan. This morning when we came in, it was hugely busy in here. Is that, is, it's like a hub of this community, isn't it? It is a community center. I think that's partly what we want it to be. We want it to be something where we can foster that community spirit and have different prop groups come in and use our facilities. We are here for the community. So when we come back, we'll tell you about different ways you can get involved. Find out more about what's going on in Duncan and just wander through the library at the same time. We'll be right back. There are plenty of other very enticing options here at the library in the Island Saving Center in Duncan. And one of them is free internet. Yes, you heard me right, free internet. You don't get hours and hours, but you do get a good start. So Nariel, tell us how do people access the free internet system here? Well, actually, if you're speaking of free internet generally, we have two ways of doing it. We have free Wi-Fi, which is available first off as long as the library is open. We also have a Shaw, we're a Shaw hub, which means anyone with a Shaw password can access it 24-7 as long as they're within the area. And we have our internet stations all down the middle of the library. And what you do is you bring your library card and you can log on using your library barcode and the pin that we mentioned earlier. Yes. And you can get up to an hour of free internet time. That's awesome. Well, that's why it was so crowded when we came in. I think there wasn't a seat to be found anywhere near a computer. What are the hours that people can access this library? The library is open most of the time from 10 a.m. to 8 p.m., Monday to Friday. And then we're also open on Saturdays from 10 to 5 and on Sundays from 12.30 to 4 p.m. Oh, I don't know. Italian grammar drills sounds a little tough for me on this day. But they have a great language section here in the library. There's even uh, 
It's insane French for idiots. Okay, the Idiot's Guide to French Verbs. You'll learn all kinds of things here at the library in Duncan. And after our break, we'll tell you more about how the library actually goes out into the community. If you can't get here, they'll come to you after the break. I love the fact as well, Narielle, that no one is barred from using the library. You have something called an adult transitional card. What is that and how does it work? This is a card designed especially for people who don't have a fixed address currently. It's pretty much the same as a regular card. It allows you to use the internet, check out books, take books out from other, bring in books from other branches. There are a few restrictions, such as you're limited to two items at a time and you can't do interlibrary loans. But other than that, it's pretty much a regular card that allows people from different circumstances to be able to join our library. That's a terrific service, really is. And at the front of the library, I love coming in here just to browse the board, the community board, because this is like a hub in the Duncan community. You learn about workshops and music and theater events, all kinds of things. How do people participate with you to, to have their events listed there? They bring us a lovely poster, and as long as they're a nonprofit organization, we put them up in our library. So we've got all sorts of ranges of events that take place and great things that are promoted. Super. Now, we know that this is a friendly place to drop into. There are lots of services here. But in addition, you go out into the community. And I know you have an event coming up on Valentine's Night, February 14th. That's an example of something you're doing in the community. I love to take part in different community events and partner with some great community organizations. That particular event is part of the Family Literacy Night that get, takes place every month. I always grab a couple of books and get to go down there and read some books to some kids and take place, take part in the activities there as well. Super. And I know that we'll probably see you out and about in the parks around Duncan because every spring and summer we see children's story times happening and lots of other things going on. So thanks so much. We know it's going to be a busy spring and summer for you and we encourage everybody to get out and enjoy the library here in Duncan. Thanks, Mary. Welcome. Our Go for the Gold series will be shown this February to coincide with the Olympic Games in Russia. Today, we'll take you to one of the fastest tracks in the world. Thanks a lot for joining us on the program today from the Vancouver Island Regional Library in Duncan. And don't forget, if you have any story ideas, we'd love to hear from you. You can reach us on Facebook or Twitter or email us. So we hope to see you next time. Go Island is brought to you by German Auto Import Network. Women's clothing provided by Tulip Noir. Casual designer fashions. Men's wardrobe by DG Bremner & Co. Menswear and accessories. Hair services provided by Salon J. 